comparison video yet on this channel, and I recently got two aperture lights that are in the mini category. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing of the ALMX by Aperture, and then we'll talk a little bit about the MC, and then we'll compare the two and see which light is the better option, or do you get both? Because that's all. That's also an option. Boom! What do we got here? We have a little carrying case. So it has a carabiner on the back, which is pretty cool. I like this kind of honeycomb design here on the front as well as we have the Aperture logo. Little gray accent, zipper here, open it on up, and we have a couple little pouches here. We can actually use this as an accessory pouch, which is pretty cool, but we have a little pouch here, and then we have another little slot here and a little slot here that is separated by some Velcro. We got your standard 3M little sticky backs here if you want to stick it to any surface. That's pretty cool. It also looks like there is some sort of diffusion and then we have a ball head, it looks like. Pretty standard with most aperture lights. I like this grit on the top. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that looks really nice. Magic. <laughs> we got some rubber bands here. Or are they bracelets? That would be really cool if these were bracelets. And it looks like we have a USB to USB type C adapter here, a little charge little charger and then we have the light itself oh wow this is actually really heavy this is nice this is fully built out of metal we have a little diffusion plate which is really cool these are magnets this is the actual LED strip here little panel and then we have the little diffusion that just clips on here and then we have a red back which I am a big fan of quarter 20 mile to put on a tripod charge ports then we have a warm indicator a cold indicator a CCT and a dim switch so we put this to the side here and we look at what came with my Aperture MC light. Uh, we have a cool little pouch here. Now, comparing the bags of the ALMX to the Aperture MC, I kind of prefer the honeycomb design a little bit more, to be honest. Um, I do like the size of this as well because it's super easy to hang off of things. But if we open the MC, up here we have the MC inside and if you guys want to go check out the video that I made on the Aperture MC I actually made a dedicated video to this light when I first unboxed it so go check that out leave it linked in the description if we look at the MC we can see that the back is definitely a little bit different there's magnets on the back so you can attach it to different surfaces it also does come with those 3M stickies as well but if we look over here we have an on off switch we have an indicator here to switch between Kelvins in different modes and then we have the charge port very simple design, same thing on the bottom here, quarter 20 to mount on the bottom of tripod. So I'm wondering if this pad is going to fit on the MX as well. That would actually make this just perfect for added diffusion. And it does. The only issue is you can't really get to the buttons. Another thing that I've noticed about the magnetic plate is it's actually very easy to kind of slide off. So when this magnetizes on, it's very easy to kind of slide it off by accident. And I kind of feel like that's a little bit of a design flaw. This is actually quite easy to just bump. So a quick rapid rundown of some pros of this is the fact that it's so light, it's so small, you can fit it in the back of your pocket, you can fit it in a bag really easy, it's very slim, compact, and portable, it's very lightweight. Um, this one is made of a high grade plastic it feels like. Uh, another pro is the fact that there's magnets on the back so you can stick this to any sort of metal surface to be able to get into some weird places that you might not be able to get a light. Otherwise, um, the fact that this is RGB and there's so much different control uh, over this light, which is really dope. The effects modes, the fact that it's super easy to charge. Some cons of this are after a little bit of use. I've had the MC for a few weeks now and I've been using it quite a lot. And the magnets after a little while do, do tend to weaken a little bit. So yeah, moving on to the ALMX. Uh, I love the build quality of this. It's a full metal housing. This is all metal on the red on the back here. I feel like the design alone of the MX is just a little bit higher quality. This is double the price. The MC will run you $90 USD and the Aperture MX will run you $150 USD. So let's turn this bad boy on and let's compare the brightness here. So we have a little switch here and we have a battery indicator, which I really, really like. So on this one, there's no scroll wheel. You just have to tap the buttons to go warmer or to go cooler. So this is the brightness of the MC and this is the brightness of the MX. 
I definitely think the MX is a tiny bit brighter than the MC. Not by a whole lot, but definitely by a little bit. So going over some pros and cons of the MX, the fact that this is a full metal housing is great. I love that. I love the aesthetics of it. Uh, I love the fact that it can go on a tripod as well. I love the idea of the magnets for the diffusion, but to be honest, I don't think I like it. I think that's a con more than anything with this little magnetic plate here. It just kind of, it slides around too much and it's kind of unforgiving in that way. And I don't know how I feel about it. Um, other than that though, I love, I absolutely love the design of the MX. I love the really bright blue LED indicators for the battery charge. And I love the fact that it has a little boost to make that, that small little adjustment on the brightness. Big con is this is not an RGB light. This is strictly an LED light, which you can use for a hair light or a key light. You can use it really for any light that you need. I would mainly use it personally for a hair light or a backlight or just a practical. I wouldn't use it for a key light, I don't think, but if you're in a pinch and this is all you have, you can use it for a key light. One thing that's really awesome about the Aperture MC is the fact that you can pair this with the Citus Link app on your phone and you can control the lights, the color, the saturation, everything from your phone within the app, which I think is really cool. Uh, a big downside of the MX that I've noticed is there's no Bluetooth button here that I can see that I can reset this to be able to pair it with the Citus Link app. So I don't know 100% if I'm able to actually control this light from my phone, which isn't a deal breaker at all, but I mean, for the price, I feel like you should be able to control it with your phone. Now the MX is a little bit brighter than the MC. The MC runs at around 1100 lux and the MX runs at around 2400 lux. And if you guys are wondering how many LEDs the MC has, it has 12 and the amount of LEDs in the MX is 128, if I'm correct here. Yeah, 128. If this was a battle of aesthetics, the MX would win 100%. In terms of usability and features, the MC wins. So it's kind of a hand, it's kind of a toss up, which one you really wanna go for. So if you guys are curious on the battery runtime of the MX, it's gonna run around 0.5 to four hours, depending upon how bright you have the settings on here. The MC, on the other hand, from personal experiences, this battery has lasted me around one and a half to two hours on max settings. Um, and using the different colors and saturations and effects. Both of these lights don't take very long to charge at all. Um, the MC takes around an hour or so to charge fully for me, and the MX takes around an hour and a half. So final thoughts on the MX and the MC. I love the MC, it's beautiful, it has a great design, it's super small, portable, you can fit it in your pocket. Like, look at this, if, if I have a little frock in here, boom, look at that. Let's chuck it in there grab it out when you need it. It's super great and portable, which I love. You can even put the MX in your back pocket or whatever if you need to. I love the build quality of the MX. It's sturdy. It's the structural integrity of this thing is crazy. It's built out of full metal. It just looks great. The aesthetics are just phenomenal if you're into something like that. Um, this would be great to do some product photos of and I will be doing that very shortly. Nothing beats the lightweight MC. The price point, $90. You get RGB, you get LEDs, you get effects, you get to control this with your phone. I think this is absolutely incredible compared to this light, uh, the MX, which is a little bit brighter. Um, it has more LEDs. It has, you know, a, a full metal housing. I'm not too worried about if I drop this. I'm sure this thing would survive a couple good drops. Um, it's just lacking some features and the fact that I don't believe I can attack. I don't believe I can control this with my phone in the Sidus Link app. Please let me know in the comments if I'm wrong on that. But I don't know how to uh, set that up if you can. And that's also usability, you know, the ease of use. How easy is this to use? Uh, if I'm trying to figure out how to, you know, find the Bluetooth settings on this thing, is it really that easy when this is literally just two buttons and this is four, five little buttons? I don't know. And the price point of the MX as well. This is $150 versus $90. I could buy two MCs almost for the price of one MX and I can get 
all of the RGB controls, the functionalities, the fact that I can use it with the Citus Link app on my phone. I mean, that's just incredible. One thing I will say though is I love both lights and I am happy with both both purchases. Um, I'm definitely going to be using the MX for my hair lights and a couple of different things, practicals. I'll probably end up using both of these for practicals at some point. Also, there's no magnets to note really quick. There is magnets on the back of the MC. There's no magnets on the back of the MX. So there is your little tidbit of the day there. But I really hope you guys enjoyed that. That was comparing the MC to the MX. What do you guys think? Which light would you pick up? I'm gonna leave links for both of them down in the description if you wanna check them out. If you think this is made for you, these are great filmmaking tools. They're very small, portable. They fit in your bag, they fit in your pocket. You don't really have to worry too much about them. They're easy to charge. You know, they have little um, cool little features like this. And uh, you know, the fact that they just have USB to USB-C chargers, they're super small, everything's really portable. I absolutely love that. If you guys enjoyed, smash like, bump subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.